While the strategy genre mobile gaming has been quite exhausted as of late, with several popular titles such as Rise of Kingdoms and King of Avalon, there are still some developers who are pushing limits and trying out new elements to add more variety to the gameplay. Warpath is one of those pioneers that, while offering many familiar aspects such as base building and RTS combat, also offers a different approach to these elements, which makes playing the game feel vastly different to others. There's quite a lot to Warpath, especially if you are a fan of RTS games looking for something unique to play on the mobile platform, which is why you should definitely check out our beginner's guide for it if you want to learn how this game does things differently, that will be linked in the description down below. In this video, however, we're going to teach you how to install Warpath on PC and enjoy everything it has to offer from the comfort of your computer. My name is Dylan J. Fox, and let's get right into it. Downloading Warpath on PC In order to enjoy this new game on your computer, you need to download and install Bluestacks, our powerful Android emulator. To get started, simply follow these easy steps. 1. Head on over to our website and download the latest version of Bluestacks. Run the installer and let it finish, after which the emulator will launch automatically. After that installation is done and Bluestacks is loaded, use the search bar on the top right to look for Warpath in our game center. Click on the game's portrait in the search results and download it from the Play Store just like you would a regular app on your smartphone. To launch your newly installed game, simply click on its icon in the Bluestacks home screen and then you're good to go. By following these easy steps, you'll be playing Warpath on PC before long. That being said, while gaming on your computer with your large monitor and keyboard support is amazing, Bluestacks actually goes beyond these amenities and offers exclusive tools that can help to significantly improve your experience with this game. We talk about this in greater detail in our Bluestacks tools guide for Warpath, but we'd like to give you a preview of things you can accomplish by playing this game on our emulator. Namely, since you'll be playing the game on your PC instead of your phone, your hardware will be superior, allowing you to crank up the graphics to the max and enjoy the best visuals and performance possible. Moreover, thanks to features like the key mapping tool, you'll also have the means to streamline your gameplay considerably. Getting the best graphics in Warpath with Bluestacks Some titles, like Warpath, have adjustable graphics settings so that even players on low-end devices can enjoy the game. These settings, however, lower the quality of the visuals in lieu of creating a smoother frame rate and vice versa. However, if you're playing on Bluestacks and your PC fulfills the recommended requirements for our emulator, you can forget about these limitations and crank up the graphics to the max and enjoy every possible setting. And all that and you won't have to worry about issues like overheating and your battery usage. And you can do all this without worrying about issues like overheating or your battery usage. To activate the best graphical config in Warpath, simply click on your avatar portrait in-game and open the options menu, and in the general settings category, activate all the items that have to do with the image. This includes both the image quality and the frame rate parameters. Once activated, you'll not only have the best effects and graphics possible, but also the smoothest frames that Bluestacks can create. Streamline your gameplay with the key mapping tool. As we mentioned before, you can learn how to get started with the key mapping tool for Warpath in our Bluesex guide, linked down below. However, there are some additional ways in which you can use this feature to your advantage in this game. The first of which would be to control your zoom. As an RTS game, you'll constantly be moving your view across the entirety of the map to scan for enemies, gather points, and other interesting elements. Some of these elements can be extremely small and will require you to zoom in to get a better look. Usually you'd have to hold down the control key and let your scroll wheel to control the zoom on blue stacks, which can be quite finicky at times. Luckily, with the key mapping tool, you can place a zoom shortcut anywhere on the screen and bind it to any button on your keyboard, allowing you to easily control the zoom at any moment. Next we have scrolling through the map. As we just mentioned, scrolling through the map is something you'll be doing really regularly. Bluestacks has several methods to improve your process either via the D-pad tool or the smart edge scrolling feature. With the former, you can simply place the function on screen and control the camera using the WASD buttons. The latter, however, is a much more recent addition that allows you to pan across the map like you would in a PC RTS by moving your mouse cursor to the edges of the screen. Both of these methods are extremely useful for scanning the map, and we recommend implementing at least one of them into your game. Another awesome feature is getting quick access to the chat. What would an online game be without player interaction? Whenever you're not busy building your base or destroying your enemies, you'll probably be interacting with your guildmates and other players in the chat. Bluesax can also improve this aspect of the game by allowing you to access the chat feature with the simple press of a button. You can even use a script to both open the chat screen and activate your keyboard, which will save you an extra click every time you want to type a message. And finally, the last feature I want to touch on in this video is returning to your base with the press of a button. Your exploration throughout the map can often leave your camera hundreds of miles away from your base. With the key mapping tool though, you can always refocus your camera on your camp with the simple press of a button, instead of having to click on the corresponding button on the screen or slowly manually panning back to your base. Of course, these are just a handful of ways you can use the key mapping tool to your advantage in Warpath. The best way I can say to get the most from this feature is by experimenting with it and see what works best for you. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave us a like and let us know what you thought of it in the comments down below and let us know how you're slaying out your enemies in Warpath. Again, my name is Dylan J. Fox and I will catch you in the next Blue Stacks video.